Hello everyone and welcome to the pedigree review. Is it good or bad for dogs? We all adore our pets, and to be sure we buy the proper pet food, we usually rely on the well-known brands. The fact that pedigree has long been one of the most well-known brands on the market is, however, hardly a secret. The brand's marketing initiatives were focused on breeders and show dogs when it initially gained widespread popularity. Due of this, they were able to partner with the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show and earn a very good income. But as time went on, the company changed its marketing strategy to concentrate more on dogs in shelters, ending its collaboration with the prestigious dog show. The Ratings Pedigree Dog Food receives a score of 3 out of 5 stars after a comparison of consumer satisfaction ratings and reviews from various websites. Reviews Given that the company has been a household name for a while, the Pedigree Dog Food reviews were pretty shocking. Since tests and assessments of the contents in the well-known dog food have been conducted, it was definitely necessary to ascertain whether Pedigree is a good dog food. Unfortunately, while reviews from reputable sources like Dog Food Advisor and Dog Food Insider suggest differently, giving very low ratings of 1 and 2 stars, Chewy.com and Amazon.com reviews typically display scores of 4 out of 5 stars. Pros Dogs favored pedigree canned food above canned food from other brands, according to the majority of comments made about the canned food on Chewy.com and Amazon.com. Customers claimed that even though they had tried other brands, their dogs tended to favor pedigree more often. There is no doubting the presence of critical vitamins and minerals in pedigree dog food, including decalcium pentothenate, monocalcium phosphate, potassium iodide, potassium chloride, and folic acid. Price Customers enjoyed Pedigree's price since it was reasonable and had an ingredient list they could respectfully agree with. Cons, Main Ingredient Corn One of the key issues raised by Dog Food Advisor and Dog Food Insider was the usage of corn as the primary ingredient. Corn is cheap and generally used as a filler, but dogs have trouble digesting it. It has also been shown that maize is known to cause numerous allergies and skin problems in dogs, thus it is difficult to see why corn would rank as the first ingredient in this dog food. Too much grain. Dogs do not digest grains effectively, which results in more waste and gas than is essential for any pup, which is why dog food advertisements state that they are grain-free. The main ingredients were whole wheat flour, soybean meal, and corn gluten meal. Dogs are bound to make considerably more gas and waste than is necessary with that much grain in one recipe. Colors and dyes Artificial colors and dyes were commonly utilized in all of Pedigree Dog Foods formulations, according to Dog Food Insider, who broke down the ingredients list for a comprehensive Pedigree Dog Food review. Dogs cannot perceive colors in this way, thus this is mostly done to appeal to human clients. However, the synthetic dyes and hues may be detrimental to your dog. Upset Tummies Numerous reviews of pedigree dog food that can be seen on Chewy.com and Amazon.com claim that the food made the furry friends who tried it sick. Customers even claim that after just one taste, their dogs turned off pedigree dog food. These were some of the most typical grievances discovered on the shopping websites. Ingredient Analysis Corn is once more featured as the first component in Pedigree Dog Foods ingredients list. Even though it's not necessarily a bad thing to have, this component shouldn't be the first one included in dog food because it offers very little nutritional value and might lead to allergies and other skin problems. According to Dog Food Advisor, the second ingredient on the list is poultry byproduct meal, a byproduct of the slaughterhouse. The fact that chicken byproduct meal contains organs, feet, beaks, meat bone meal, and other non-meat portions of animals is a plus, but the fact that it has 300% more protein than fresh fowl is a negative. The majority of the starchy carbs are rinsed out of corn gluten meal before it is added to pedigree dog food, which is listed as the third component. The fact that BHA is utilized to keep the animal fat in the meal from spoiling is one of the main issues with the ingredients list. It is concerning that BHA is utilized given that it is known to potentially cause cancer. The ingredient list is enough to make a pet owner wonder whether they should feed their dog pedigree dog food, according to Dog Food Advisor and Dog Food Insider. Pedigree dog food is a below average product based solely on the ingredients list. Recall history. 
Pedigree has occasionally had a few products on the list of dog food recalls, like many other dog food manufacturers. Even as late as 2014, there were recalls, albeit voluntarily because of the potential for foreign material. Another recent recall happened in 2012 when a small batch of three different canned pedigree weight management products were voluntarily recalled owing to a possible choking hazard. Conclusion it is safe to state that despite its popularity, this dog chow is not the best option for your puppy. Since we consider our animals to be members of our family, they should receive nutritious meals that will support their physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. Despite Pedigree's fame, reviews of its dog food show that it lacks in both quality and ingredient diversity. If the price is a concern, Pedigree meets the low price checkoff on your list. However, it is not worth putting your dog's health in jeopardy for lower-priced dog food. While many people have been happy with pedigree throughout the years, it is still not a high-quality food that should be recommended. That's the pedigree review. Check the description below for more information. See you next time.